Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we will understand our question. The program has to accept the rows and columns of the city that is integer r and c and then it should accept the string p which represents the path traced by a man and also it should accept the coordinates of n tower with its type and if the type is equal to equal to L means then the tower will cover two places that is two places near it and if the type is equal to yes means then the tower will cover one places near it. So it is near it means that is surrounding it. And then finally the program has print the number of places where the boy didn't get signal as the output. So now first we have to get the two integers r and c which represents the rows and column and the string p that is the path traced by the man and it should accept the coordinates of n tower with its type and if the type is equal to l means then the tower will cover two places surrounding it and that if type is yes means the tower will cover one places surrounding it. And finally, the program spin the number of places where the boy didn't get signal. Now we'll take our first test case. So in this test case, we have got 10 cross 10 matrix, which represents the city. And here the asterisk will represent the no signal. And the ash will represent the signal. Initially, we have the entire city with no signal, that is with asterisk. And we have given the coordinates, that is, we have given two coordinates. So in the first coordinate, we have 3, 3, which represents this. So this tower, we have, then we have L. So L will represent the two places surrounding it that is this so we have missed one note that is a tower cannot cover itself so a tower cannot cover itself right so here will not have signal that is in the tower so now will replace the asterisk with ashes because we have got signal because of the tower. Yeah. So now we'll move to the next coordinate that is 7 comma 5 which represents this element though. So here it is yes. So it represents the one places surrounding it. So the tower cannot cover itself, so we'll remove it. And then the one place surrounding it will have signal. And now we are done with our tower signals. And let us trace the path. So first they have given three south. So we'll move towards south for three times. And then we have 
e for five six times so we'll move towards the east and then we have north for two times so we'll move towards north and then we have west for two and then we have south for seven times so after marking the trace of the boy now we have to find the count of asterisk in this path because the program is print the count of where the boy didn't get the signal right so we are going to count the number of asterisks as asterisk are the places where the boy didn't get the signal so 3 and 4 totally 7 so 7 will be our final output Get clarifications for any program and clear your program errors effortlessly by using our Instagram page. Programming made simple here. We have mentioned our Insta ID in this video description. Now let us implement our program. First we'll get the number of rows and columns of the city. And then we'll get the string P that is path. And then we'll get the matrix with asterisk in it. And now we have to get the coordinates of the tower and find their coverage. So we use for CTR in range 1 comma int of input of plus 1. So here the int of input of will get the number of towers and then we'll have the row and column and the types of the coordinate. So we'll get the input and then the rows and columns should be in integer format. So we'll convert it as they are in string. Now after converting, we have to specify the coverage area. So for that, we have to check the type. So if the type is L means it covers two area, two surrounding areas. And if the type is yes means it covers one surrounding area. So if the type is equal to equal to L means it covers extra is equal to three. And else that is if the type is yes means extra is equal to 2. And after that, we have to replace the asterisk with the ash symbol, right? As we have found the coverage area, there will be signal. So for that, for ES row in range, min of 0, sorry, max of 0, comma, row minus extra comma min of row plus extra minus one and for yes column in range max of zero comma column minus extra comma min of c comma column plus extra minus one so now if the yes row is not equal to row minus one or yes column not equal to column minus one means we are going to replace the asterisk with that is the matrix of yes row and yes column with ash so we have used this if condition to specify that the tower cannot cover itself so we should not consider the coordinate of the tower so we have used this if and now we have to get the path so for that x comma y comma count is equal to zero 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 so if the matrix of the zero of zero that is the first index is asterisk means we have to increment the count by one and here we have used the max function and the minimum function because it will reduce the the index out of range error and it's also easy for 
to perform our operations. So here for the path in P, if the path is equal to equal to n, that is north means we have to decrement x and l if the path is equal to equal to south means we have to increment the x l if the path is equal to equal to east means we have to increment y and else decrement the y that is path is west and if the matrix of x y is equal to equal to asterisk means we have to increment the count and finally we'll print the count so now let us execute our program we'll pass our first test case so yes we have got the correct output that is seven our program has passed all our given test cases successfully hope you guys understand thanks for watching See you next video.